Hey guys, it's April 6th. We're gonna do a walk around and see all the inventory that we have here to offer at our store. The first one is the red piano, signed by Elton John, a beautiful piano. Next door to that, we have a GL50, the six foot two in the Kauai lineup with the carbon fiber action. Next to that, we have a very special nine foot Steinway. This was part of uh, Steinway's concert artist program for many, many years and uh, probably uh, the best Steinway D I've ever played. Beautiful piano. Moving over here, we got a special edition Kawai GL10. This one's special because instead of a gold frame, it has a silver frame and it's metallic silver. Beautiful to look at. It also has uh, chrome pedals. Still have the covers on them, so not as bright as they would be after you get the cover off. And then also still has the uh, protective covering on the uh, chrome letters instead of gold. Uh, over here, we have a vintage Steinway Model S. This is a five foot one, it's the smallest one in the Steinway lineup, fully restored, gorgeous piano, uh, walnut. Next to that, we have a Yamaha in the uh, tiger stripe or ribbon stripe mahogany. So it's a polished finish and uh, has the stripes, which, uh, Tells you why they have that finish. Over here, we have a piano being tuned. It's a Rittmuller uh, white piano. Interesting thing on this one is it has, uh, the felt is actually blue instead of red. So over here, we have uh, part of Steinway's crown collection. This is an East Indian rosewood, gorgeous piano. I love the little chair that it comes with. And this one uh, also has a QRS player system also fully restored and ready to play for you guys. Next to that, we have the Kawai GX2. This one is a limited edition one. They only made 60 for the world, and this is number nine. Hard to tell in the, in the video, but it actually has kind of a three-dimensional finish in the middle and uh, a different piano for sure. Over here, we have another vintage piano. This is a Mason and Hamlin Model A. And uh, this one's a polished walnut and it's French Provincial. This one's a 1920 something. So all of these uh, inlays that you see are, are carved by hand. And uh, it looks a little bit more uh, orange than it does in this light. We have these bright fluorescent lights here and sometimes the color can look a little washed out in the pictures. Next to it, we have a full nine foot uh, Kawai Concert Grand. This is a GS100. This one plays really, really well. As, as you can imagine, nine feet means it has uh, plenty of volume, uh, but the action is really crisp and responsive on this one. Uh, next to that, we have a Mason and Hammond model double A. Uh, the interesting thing about this one is even though it's been restored, uh, they didn't go back with the original parts. They actually went with uh, Mason and Hamlin carbon fiber hammer shanks. So this one uh, plays really, really well. And uh, we try to select our pianos very carefully so that we have the best pianos here at Alamo Music. Now, some something special to tell you guys, which is we are discontinuing uh, keeping the, uh, or carrying the Yamaha Clavinova line. So. All of these Clavinovas that you see, which is uh, Yamaha's premium digital piano line, are on clearance, and uh, we'd love to ship one to your house. Um, and they come in an upright form and a baby grand form. The baby grands are typically less expensive in the digitals than they are in a, an acoustic baby grand. Um, but these are some of the best playing digital pianos out there, um, with the exception of maybe the Kawhi CA series. Uh, which we are uh, switching over to completely and uh, big believer in that. In fact, uh, in the digital piano world, Kawhi makes hybrid pianos that have acoustic sounding boards and uh, something special in the digital piano world that nobody else has. Uh, now, back here, we have a model ST1 in the Kawhi, which is a 46 inch studio. This one also has the Millennium 3 carbon fiber action these are probably the best playing upright pianos I've ever played at any price point. And Kawhi is relatively affordable. Next to that's the K300. This is a 48 inch 
Uh, this has a longer speaking length than the Yamaha U1 uh, for the strings. And uh, so you're really, even though it's a 48 inch, which is a relatively tall piano, you're getting an even uh, larger sounding board or even larger strings. Uh, next to that, we have the Schimmel for Dolan. Uh, these are made in uh, China, um, along with the SX for Steinway and many other brands that are made uh, and designed by that company, but actually manufactured by Pearl River. Uh, Pearl River has one of the largest uh, factories in the world. This is a used one. Uh, yeah, five grand. I think this one's on sale for $38.95 or $39.95. Kawhi K15. Now we're gonna head back to the uh, recital area and grand piano room. Uh, so believe it or not, we're only about halfway through this tour. There are still plenty of options and exciting pianos for you to see. Uh, in here, we have a large selection of digital pianos. I'm not gonna go over each, each and every one of those because uh, you, know, you can do that on the internet. And then you can also just contact me if you're looking for a digital piano and uh, go a little bit uh, faster. Here we have our used piano section. Uh, have some Kawhi consoles. Uh, this is a really nice playing piano. Uh, next to that, we have a uh, Young Chang. And uh, across from that, we have a few older pianos, a Hardman, uh, Hobart Cable. Uh, let's see, that Kimball sold. We got a Baldwin here. Uh, that's a console, another Kawhi piano. Kawhi, if you don't know, is the other Japanese manufacturer along with Yamaha, but slightly upscale from Yamaha. And they make the Boston series for Steinway and Son, so they're pretty well thought of. Speaking of Yamaha, here's another Yamaha console piano. And uh, if you need pricing on any of these, you know, check out how to contact me video and, uh, or just contact me at Kevin at alamomusic.com. Now here's one I really, really like. This is a Baldwin. Uh, Hamilton, it's a, actually a studio height piano. Most of the furniture style ones are uh, consoles, but this is a really tall one. And I really like the ports on this one. This lets some of the sound out of the front and uh, very ornate. Uh, that bench pad comes off if you don't like the uh, color of the pad. Um, I like the pad. I'm not sure why, but because uh, I'm a lot bigger now than I used to be. And uh, I have a lot more padding, but I need more padding for whatever reason. Uh, up here we have the currently the top piano in the piano competition world, which is the Shigeru SKEX. Look at that bird's eye flame maple rim. And it's got a Kirigishu uh, sounding board, which is pre-aged uh, for up to 15 years. Uh, that lets some of the moisture content out, lets it uh, ring a little bit, uh, lets it, the sounding board move a little bit more freely. And uh, these have the, of course, Millennium 3 uh, carbon fiber action as well. And that's one of the things that I like about Kawhi is even though this piano is 200,000, you would expect it to have the top level componentry. Kawhi offers the carbon fiber in almost all of its pianos, all of the pianos they can afford to. They give you the carbon fiber action, which includes all of the baby grands, all of the grands, and a few of the uh, upright pianos. Here's a Steinway M. Now this is like a 1966, I believe, and uh, just in really good, excellent, original condition. And uh, this one plays really, really well. I mean, of course, most of the Steinways do, but there are definitely some junky ones out there. And, uh, but this is not one of them. This is a nice, uh, real nice piano. So if you're interested in that one, uh, give me a call. Not all Steinways are outrageously expensive. If you find a good one uh, in a non-black finish, sometimes you can get a good deal on one. This is a Yamaha C2. This one's a disc Um You can use that, not use it. Take the box off if you don't like the box. Uh, Yamaha C2 is a 5.8, which is just a really great piano. And uh, next to that, we have a Kawhi GL10. This one already has the QRS piano Mation uh, player system on it, so it'll play for you. They don't put the big box on these anymore. It's just a little bitty thing down here. And you just control it with your phone and all of the libraries built in. Uh, next, across from that, we have another Steinway M. This is a late model piano. 
you can tell usually by the uh, logo what uh, vintage the piano is. And so this one's a late model one in excellent playing condition. Next to that, we have a Yamaha C3, one of the uh, staples of the piano recording world. Uh, they have these in a lot of recording studios and it's six foot one inches in length in ebony polish, great piano. Uh, again, the action on these is really easy to play. Uh, over here, we have another Steinway. Uh, this one is a Steinway L, which is a five foot 10. So I know we mentioned the M before, which is a five foot seven. So L was the next size up and a uh, five ten. This one's in a satin uh, walnut. <clears throat> next to that, we actually have one of the oldest Steinways uh, in existence. Uh, this one's an 1859 or 58. And uh, with Steinway starting in, I think, uh, 1856. So this is one of the very first ones. And... Uh, they call this a Model A, but I'm not sure if that was the uh, official term for it. One of the interesting things about this one is, is they hadn't landed on the idea that pianos have 88 keys yet. And that's why you see 2322. Two, two. So it's 85 keys. I doubt if you'd miss the two on the top, but this is definitely an interesting conversation piece. And uh, again, all of this was carved by hand. And uh, this one is in pristine condition. Uh, it's got new strings, uh, new hammers, and uh, has had restoration work in the past. It's in good playing condition. Uh, I'd love to have this one just for the uh, historical value. Across from that, we have a Baldwin. Uh, this is a Model R, I believe, which is a 5.8. And uh, another vintage piano. Now this one's an Art Deco piano. And it's the only piano that I've ever seen that has three legs. So each side has three legs, including the front. And uh, somebody has restored this piano as well and it actually plays good. So a lot of times you see these pianos, uh, they either look good, but don't play good, or they play good, but they don't look good. But this one kind of has it all. Another Baldwin R. You can see from this one that this vintage is probably like in 1960s. And uh, which was a good good time for Baldwin's manufacturing. Across from that, we have a six foot Schimmel. Uh, we've actually put quite a bit of work into this one. It's an ebony polished piano. And you see this unique uh, frame design on it. It's just a cool looking piano. And uh, Schimmel, of course, is a German brand and uh, a really high end piano. So I think that one would be a good piano for someone. Next to that, we have another Mason and Hamlin Model A. And uh, these are well known, uh, these are known to be some of the best pianos ever made. And uh, I really, really love this piano. In fact, this was my piano for a while uh, before I upgraded to a, a Kawai Shigeru. And so I know this piano's had extensive maintenance because uh, I'm the piano manager here and I get all my maintenance for free. So I make sure and keep my pianos in good shape. Uh, next we have the Apollo, another Art Deco piano. Uh, this one's a nice looking piano. Doesn't really play that good, but I think this would be a good piano for somebody that wanted some aesthetics uh, and something to look good, you know, in a room or maybe a den. Uh, next to that, we have another Baldwin uh, Model R, which is a 5.7 or 5.8. And uh, this is an ebony satin piano. Uh, it's late model. You can tell because it has the AccuJust hitch pins. And uh, let me see, get over here on this side of it. And these were made in the United States, comparable in quality to a Steinway. Unfortunately for Baldwin, uh, Steinway was not nearly as good at marketing. And uh, so they were as expensive as a Steinway when they were new. The bright side is, is that you can still get a, uh, you can get a better deal on one of these sometimes than you can on a Steinway uh, just because of the uh, value. Oh, this one's already sold. But, uh, oh, we got one more over here in the corner that I wanted to show you, which is, uh, I think, a standout value, which is a seven foot Suzuki. Now, Suzuki hasn't been well known for its pianos, uh, but this one was actually a really, really great piano. Uh, I've had this piano in inventory for a little while. Uh, new seven foot pianos can range between 40 and uh, $120,000. 
Uh, this one's under $10,000 and it is in good playing condition. And I believe it has a uh, uh, dehumidifier on it too. So if you live anywhere near the coast, you could uh, play this one and uh, you'd be okay. Oh, one more, this is a new arrival, is the Kohler and Campbell. This is a little five foot baby grand and it's in mahogany polish. One of my favorite colors. It's just a really pretty looking piano. So again, my name's Kevin, and uh, my email address is Kevin at Alamo Music. So you can email me or you can reach out to me by text 210-428-3743. I hope you've enjoyed our inventory walk, and I hope to see you guys again real soon. Thank you.